A lot of times uh, when you're searching for articles, you'll see an icon that looks like this. And uh, that's easy. That should open up to full text 100% of the time. Um, a lot of the times also when you're searching, you'll find a yellow button like this that find, it says find at ASU, or you'll see another button that's not yellow. Much more rarely, you'll see one that's not yellow that says find at ASU. And in that case, it's usually going to give you full text, but not always. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about what to do in that case. And then uh, a lot of times you might just have a paper citation or at least a citation with a dead link. Um, or I just saw this in the paper this week, uh, the Watauga Democrat. Here's a story about an article. I see this like when I'm reading the newspaper all the time, there'll be reference to research. Here in this case, uh, some professors from Appalachian and uh, there's pretty good detail about the paper, uh, more than you usually get. So, um, Two cases, the library might have a subscription to the journal for the year you need, uh, the issue that just came out, or maybe you know it was from 10 years ago or 50 years ago. And then the other case is um, not exclusive. The full text might just be uh, available for free on the web. So I'm gonna talk about how to uh, find these things relatively easy. Uh, so and I'm gonna talk about um, kind of starting with what I do, and then I'll um, stop for asides to talk about other ways to do this problem. And uh, I'll try not to beat it to death. Um, I want this to be pretty easy. Um, so anyway, let me talk about what I would do. And uh, let's just start with this citation, or I'll tell you what, let me back up just a little bit and go to um, a search. Uh, we just have this new app search. Um, I've done a search in it. Let me just show you. I've searched on river restoration and I'm looking through my results. And here's the red and white PDF full text. Should open up every time. If it doesn't, which does happen occasionally, we do have a reporting system to report that it's not working. Uh, so, um, and then other cases, here's the find that ASU button. Let me just click on this one. I've rehearsed this a little bit, so I know that this one is going to open up like that. No problem. Um, occasionally, it gives you an intermediate step where you have to click again. Uh, this looks like it's just the abstract, but here's the PDF or the HTML version of the article. So that's nice. I think I'm not going to press the button. Uh, let's just keep going. That one worked. So let me bring up the other case where it doesn't work. Find at ASU. And sometimes you get this. And our page here is trying to say we don't have it electronically. Looks like nothing was found. So check library catalog. You can go, it'll do a search in our catalog to see if we have a paper copy of it. Usually we're not, although we still do have some older uh, paper volumes. So let me get rid of that. And then there's a way to request from other libraries. Okay, so I'm gonna go back through this. Now, let me take that citation and show you what I would do with it. Assuming I've gone through these results, or let's just say again, maybe I saw it in the newspaper or a paper sheet. Uh, let's just take this citation. Um, this is what I do first. I take the article title and I copy it. Um, and I go to the Appalachian State Library webpage, and I use Google Scholar. Now, a lot of my colleagues uh, use other methods, and I'll talk about app search in a minute, but let me just show you. I click on the Google Scholar tab. I paste in there. If it's not already in quotation marks, I put quotation marks on it. And usually, um, Usually it's in Google Scholar, and usually it'll pop up right to the top. In fact, here it is twice. And at this point in Google Scholar, there are several options. This is one technology that will take me to full text. This is another technology that will take me to full text. Uh, it looks like somebody's put the full text up on some website called BigThompsonRiver.org. We have also put this one up on um, the Appalachian State uh, website we share with UNC Greensboro. And so this is full text right here. 
Uh, one thing to pay attention to in Google Scholar is also sometimes you won't see the find out app state. You'll see the more, and if you click on it, well, it didn't work in that case, but a lot of times it'll give you the find out app state. I guess since it's already here, it's not working. Okay, I'm not going to click on all these buttons, but um, and sometimes also if that's not working, I'll click on all six versions, and there'll be another version that will wait, uh, open up. So that's what I do. Um, another thing you could do, and we've just got this new app search that has a lot of full text content in it. I could just do the same thing right here, and it won't always work. Just like in Google Scholar, it won't always work. I've got double quotation marks, so I kind of messed it up, but. And here it is. Here's that yellow find that app state button. Um, that's interesting. So let's click on that. And I get to the same place. So see, you know, there are different ways to solve this problem. Uh, by the way, also, there have been some responses to their initial article. So this is cool. And this is kind of a way in which maybe this method is better than mine. Uh, let's go back and take another look. Um, remember my citation. Not only has the article title, it also has a DOI, and I haven't been real good at using these, but let me copy that DOI, and I can do the same thing in Google Scholar. Let's get rid of this, copy in the DOI, and there it is, again twice. This is a little unusual. I could also do that same thing in the app search, and it turned out it worked there. And that's just a, a unique number or a set of numbers and letters that's assigned to this electronic resource, in this case, an article, and it's uh, helping you find it. So that was uh, that's actually a pretty good way to do it. Um, I believe I could just put that in a Google uh, search. And in fact, let me try that right now live. Here's Google. And put in that number. I get the same thing. This case, through just regular Google search, it might not link to the full text in some cases. So I'd rather you not do that. Is this kind of making sense? Does anybody have any questions? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Um, let me go back to my citation. Um, right here, the next thing I do is, so my first thing I do is search on the article title. Several ways to do that. The second thing I do is take the journal title, and there are actually two versions here. There's an acronym, and there's the full version. Let's just try the full version. And let me go back to the library webpage. And I usually go here, and I get this page. So just to back up, I go to eJournal magazine title right here. I click on it. I get a page like this. I search and I get a page like this. Now we lose a lot of people on this page. Um, sometimes it's kind of overwhelming with choices. But one thing you want to look for is the year of your citation. Uh, to go back to the citation, you see here 2014. So if I wanted uh, if I want 2014, I don't want these three links. I don't want this link. This link should work because 1997 to present. And these are interesting. They say 2007 to present, but it says embargo one year. And that means we don't have the most recent year. Now you can see why when I'm, when I'm doing it myself and when I recommend to people, I suggest Google Scholar or App Search first because this is a little complicated. Now, a year ago, this means if something was published in August 2014, it should not be available here. And we're not quite sure when in 2014 that was published. Of course, we'd go here, but if we didn't have this one, this would be kind of confusing. We'd go in there and see if we had it. But um, anyway, this link will work. It'll open up. This looks a lot like what we've already seen. We could drill our way down to the correct uh, volume and issue and page number. We go in here and search on the author's names or uh, keywords from the, from the article title, and we'd find it pretty quickly. So I'm not going to do that right now. But anyway, that's the second thing I do. Now let me talk about what the problem. One little problem with that. This is eJournals. Now it's possible 
that will have a paper copy of the journal. That does happen. Um, I'm kind of getting so lazy, partly because we have so few paper journals, especially for recent things. But you can go here to find journals or ma magazines, or go here, books and media, and do journal title. Now let's see if I still have it in my memory. We do search, and this will carry us through that same process. Now, it's almost, as I said, I'm kind of getting beyond doing that. It's a bad habit, but uh, let me just warn you, this is not a completely comprehensive search what the library had. It's getting pretty close. And uh, I believe my colleague Greg is uh, one of the attendees. He'll probably get mad at me for this, but uh, just be aware there is a little more comprehensive search than this, um, and it's here, find journals or magazines, or in our books and media journal title search. Okay, now the third thing I usually recommend for other people is if you've gotten this point and you haven't found it, um, um, ask for help. Um, let me go back for a minute and just look at Google Scholar again. One reason I like to start with Google Scholar instead of App Search or another method uh, searching on the article title. Here's just a search I did on river restoration. But um, let's look at this list of results. As I said, um, a lot of times this will be one technology to get to full text. The Find at App State is another technology. I can click here to get a Find App State button. But one of the things that's cool in uh, Google Scholar is it also will uh, help you if um, this, the researchers have put the full text up on their university website or on their personal website or perhaps on their, um, uh, their uh, scholarly association website. So let's just click on this one. This is an article we hadn't seen before, but it looks like the researchers have put it up on the University of Idaho website. Um, I'm not sure this is really the full text. But that's why I like to do this. And you will, you know, maybe about 10 to 20 percent of the time uh, find it. Uh, there are also things like ResearchGate, which um, um, I'm not so sure about, but it's possible that would have the full text. This says it's got 48 versions of the full text. I'm not sure this is a uh, journal article. But um, for this journal article, and I can tell it's a journal because the Journal of Applied or something, you know, there are nine versions of this, and there could be the full text hiding somewhere. I don't think that's what these are. So uh, I'm kind of making this more complicated than it needs to be, but um, there are a lot of options in Google Scholar, a lot of buttons to push, and I'm hoping that this one and this one, you know, get it to me right away, but there are a lot of other buttons to push. So. So again, I start with the article title in Google Scholar, but you can also use App Search. You can use that DOI number at this stage. If that doesn't work, you can go to eJournal, magazine title, or find journals and magazines. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can ask the library, library staff, uh, if we can help. And then the fourth uh, solution is Iliad Interlibrary Loan. We can get from another library. Let me go back to that search I sh showed you earlier. Remember, we clicked on this page. Uh, it's not linking directly to full text. It will check the catalog for you to see if we have that journal in paper. But when you verified that we don't have it, um, and it and it's not out on the web, you can log in to our Iliad system. And this is really easy because this has filled out the form for me. It's saying what journal it is. It's showing what the article title is. And I just hit submit request. And my colleagues uh, in the library will try to get this from uh, colleagues at another library. And I've been having really good success. Uh, my luck, uh, I mean, I believe they say 48 to 72 working hours, but uh, the last. Uh, for the last couple of years when I've requested them, I've been getting them in 24 hours. Now, don't complain, please, if you don't get it in 24 hours, but uh, but uh, it's, there's a pretty good chance of it. So uh, I'm going to log off before I accidentally um, um, re request something um, and add to their workload. But if you don't have an Elliott account, you can go here to Interlibr Elliott Interlibrary Loan, kind of hiding on the middle of that page. 
You can log in at this point. If you don't have an account, go to first time user and um, click to get an account. And I want you to read all this, but I want you to skip right through to here and uh, fill out this form and you can set up an account. And I recommend you pick a really easy um, um, password for this. Uh, anyway, that's what I recommend. And I finally, I don't know how long it's been up there, but I noticed Jeff has a question. Will the links uh, work off campus? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, if you're off campus and you go to App Search and Google Scholar, before anything happens, you know, you hit your search button or enter, you'll get a little pop up. Uh, you'll get a window asking you to log in with your ASU username and, um, and your password. And let me just show you what that looks like. It's a little complicated. This is another way to display that page. This isn't how you're getting here if you're looking for articles. But um, I would go here and put in my username. And if you're off campus, it won't necessarily, it won't know your app state. So you have to hit this button and put in your email password. So that's easy. You do actually have the option. Uh, don't use both sides of this page. Well, let me just tell you, don't use this side of the page. Uh, use this, use your email username and password much easier but uh, you should know if you have any marks on this side of the page and you try to use this it won't work so don't put any marks don't even touch this side of the page um, so that's what it looks like if I'm off campus and I click you know I do an app search or a Google Scholar search um, you know, I think that's most of what I want to tell you. Uh, I probably overcomplicated it a bit. Um, let's just uh, take a minute before I end um, and pick another example. I've got a few more citations here. And um, yeah, it reminds me of a few examples I wanted to show you. Uh, here's an article that just came out the last few days. Um, if you want to do this on your own, that's fine. I'm going to click on the article title. And I'm going to go back to the library web page and, um, and there it is. So that's pretty easy to find it that way. Uh, and let's just see if it's working. It looks like it's oh not working. Well, this was just published yesterday, which might be part of the problem. But I'm persistent. I'm going to hit the more button, find that app state. And it looks like it's a pretty short article, but there it is. Um, let me just note another case. You know, I just this this came up in my email yesterday. I clicked over to uh, this journal's table of contents, and here's the article I was just looking at. And it had a free button I, yesterday. I swear it. I was looking at it yesterday, and it was free. And then when I go to look at it again today, this is the one that's free. Uh, so, but if you don't look, you're not going to find that. Um, I, I believe that the uh, search I just did in Google Scholar would find it as if it's free. I mean, it would have linked through. Now, we also have full, we have a subscription to this journal. So you should be getting to it through our subscription as well. So, but, you know, just imagine this is a journal we don't subscribe to. This is another way to get it. Um, you know, we also had another case yesterday where a chat question came in, uh, I believe from a new faculty asking about whether we had this journal and it was called Communication Design Quarterly. And it turns out we don't have any reference to it in our, uh, in, you know, any of our li in the library. Uh, we don't seem to have a subscription, but it turns out this journal is uh, just free on the web. It was a little hard to, to dig up the full text. Um, but you see here, I did a search in Google Scholar where, you know, if you use the advanced search right here, there's a little down arrow or sometimes advanced search right here. You can get this, you know, I had, when I first started it, I had communication design quarterly right here, but I moved it to this. So I'd only get things in this journal. And you can see I've got 37 results during the year 2015 that in, are in this journal and they seem to all be opening up. And if you don't get in and dig around on the web, sometimes you'll miss those. 
Uh, I'd also mention that first article. Um, here's our uh, university repository that we share with UNC Greensboro. This is a version that we actually here in the library, uh, we got permission from uh, Dr. Cockerill to put this up on the university UNCG website, which is called NC Docs. And this leads to full text as well. So let me go back to my example. We got full text already, but if that hadn't worked for whatever reason, we could take the, article, the journal title and let me bring up a, and again, go here. Let's see what this looks like. And this is pretty complicated. Again, this is one reason I kind of like my other method, but JAMA, Journal of the Medi American Medical Association, you might notice that uh, this is a current article. It's just come out in 2015. So we only have one choice right here. And it uh, will take us to that interface we were just looking at, although we still have to drill down to find the correct issue. So that's a little complicated still there. Okay, now um, let's go back to the example. Um, it, it has a DOI, so that might be a much easier example even than copying the article title. And um, pretty sure less complicated than using the journal title. Oh, and here's the other uh, example I was just referring to that I only found uh, uh, on the web using Google Scholar. So um, let's see. I think I've probably told you much too much. Um, are there any questions?